All right, so now that we got all that out, we can see where the coolant is leaking. Of course, I knew where it was leaking before. It was on the top there, there's a crack. And the reason being is that actually she had hit something. You can see where it's kind of tore off on the left there on, underneath. And it hit the brace that's underneath there. You guys can see that. This brace right in here is bent up a little bit. And it's actually a hollow brace. It's not meant to support, like you can't put a jack or anything on it. You don't want to do that on these Nissan Versus. So what I did do is I took a 20 pound sledge, which this is the guy that I use for stuff like this. And I stuck it down in there, just like so. And I gave her some good wax for about 10 minutes. And it is straight. The new radiator can go in and uh, eventually we'll get to where we can replace this front for her. But uh, there's the fan, there's the old radiator, and you can't tell but it was pushed on from the bottom. The brace goes right across the top here and it just enough to stress it right in here to get a crack. So I'm going to put the new one on and uh, I will probably set up the tripod and show you guys how this brace goes right back in place. So stay tuned. This is the new radiator that we're going to put in. Nice and packed away nicely. Upside down. But this does have the... Uh, right here. So, due to the configuration of the new radiator and the hoses for the transmission cooler. I had to go get a longer hose and when I get it in there I'll be able to cut it down to size. So now back to putting the radiator in. So it's a few hours later, got it all together. She's missing her grill there, which broke up when it fell apart. But other than that, we're all good. We're gonna get a new clip, we're gonna get a new headlight, and we're gonna make this thing purdy again. 